Welcome to Not A Roofer's Podcast, where we discuss roofing without all the jargon. I'm Brianna. And I'm Charity. And this is today's episode. Welcome back to Not A Roofer's Podcast. Today, we actually have three terms for you. However, they all work together. Okay, well, you know what that means. Definition time! Not just definition, it's definition <laughs> Yes, so with three different terms, we have three definitions. So today, we are going to discuss drains, gutters, and scuppers. And you may be thinking to yourself, if you've been hanging out with us for a little bit here, you may be like, oh, why do those why do those sound familiar? Well, they sound familiar because drains, gutters, and scuppers is part of the five point inspection that Roof Medics does. So we have talked about it before. I don't know about you, but I have and I've been in the roofing industry. I have only heard of drains and gutters before. I have no idea what a scupper is. We're all learning things today because agreed. Um, the first time I heard scupper, side note, I for whatever reason, I went to the bird from the Little Mermaid named Scut Scuttle. And so at first when I heard scupper, I was like, what in the world? And the image in my head was of the bird. Well, I think I think you should start with the term for scupper since one, we don't know what it is. And two, all I can think of is like the person who washes the the ship deck on a like a pirate ship. <laughs> like I just think that that's what you would call him. So it's really funny because scupper has multiple definitions and I'm just going to present the one that relates to the roofing industry. But one of the definitions for scupper is specifically in relation to boats, oddly enough. Okay. Scupper, since we're going to start with that one, is a noun, and it is an opening in the wall of a building through which water can drain from a floor or flat roof. It's a, it's a mouth on the side of your building, ultimately. Gutters are a noun, and it is a shallow trough fixed beneath the edge of a roof for carrying off rainwater. And drain is a noun. And it is a channel or pipe carrying off surplus liquid, especially rainwater or liquid waste. There are our definitions. <laughs> this is gonna this is gonna be our new thing. So whenever we talk about definitions, we're gonna introduce it as. And here are our definitions. No, the, it only works if we're talking about multiple. I mean, we could also do here are our definition. Definition. De definition. <laughs> we'll make it cool and it's gonna be cool to learn definitions as we said like we want to talk about the three because they are important parts of the roof system but also they are part of the five point inspection and we've already talked about roofing membranes to a point well to different types of roofing membranes and why they need to be checked we we've talked about flashings now and the problems that occur with those and so Drains, gutters, and scuppers being another part of the five-point inspection are another thing that, you know, it's good to know what problems can occur with them and why they need to be taken care of. So I think it would be good to note that, not, oh, I don't know how to phrase this because, like, I like gutters. I think gutters are good to have because it helps redirect the water from just falling off the side of your roof. However, there's a lot of places that don't have gutters. So I guess the question would be like, are gutters actually needed? Or like, is it okay if you don't have gut? Like, So here's the thing. You're right. Gutters are important. But the reason that drains, gutters, and scuppers all get put together is because all three help to get water off of your roof, off of your house, whatever. And so like houses usually have gutters and whatever mm, not usually not usually only about 50 percent of the time do houses actually have gutters. okay well ar around me i go on walks every so often and now that the weather is beautiful and winter is behind us like i'm going on more walks and i can 
honestly say that all the houses around me have gutters. So in my mind, it is normal for houses to have gutters, but not every house, not every building has gutters. And one of the reasons is either because they just decided they didn't want them or whatever. It, it does come down to aesthetics. Like some people, uh, well, let's be honest, gutters and downspouts don't look pretty. <laughs> I promise they do not look pretty. My house has green gutters on them. I don't know why they're green. I don't understand. <laughs> it can come down to, to aesthetics. People can be like, I don't want that at all. Like, it doesn't look nice. And then you're going to have to have another way for the water to get off your roof. That's what I know about it without any extensive research. On new construction, contractors are now installing gutters on all new homes because it's better for the home because it helps direct the water away from the foundation. So in the past, why gutters do not are not on every home is because they were not um, built with that. And so it was always an extra fee. But now new constructions all have new or all have gutters on them to help direct the water away from the foundation. So to answer my own question, Yes, they are important. No, not every house has them, but every new house does have them. <laughs> Got it. Okay, so that's on gutters. Um, scuppers is another one that is not, like, obviously, like, we didn't know what it was. Neither Jerry or I knew. Um, and based on just everything that I know about them, they, they are not likely to be seen. They're definitely not really seen on houses because houses have pitched roofs usually so it's something that you'll find on flat roofs or I mean it's set like in the definition it says to drain away from a floor so I'm sure they have other uses outside of roofing but they they'll be found on flat roof buildings and it it literally will be a hole in the side of the roof where water comes out well and then the drains drains are mainly on flat roofing and they're like in, oh, I'm going to totally botch this, but aren't they in like this, not the center of the roof, but somewhere on the flat roof and then they help direct the water to the edge of the roof? They're, no, no, they're, they're, it's like a drain in a bathtub. Oh, so the water gets directed down through the building? Down through, yeah. And there, there's a pipe then that it gets led through until it can get deposited wherever it's going to go, whether it be um, on the outside of the building or inside or whatever. And so with drains on flat roofs, they are in a location that, yes, flat roofs have a pitch of some sort. So even while they are flat, there are areas of the roof that are lower than other areas. And so the, that's where the drain will sit and water will be naturally directed into that to get it off of the roof. Whereas with a house, if it has a pitch, the water is going to naturally get directed into the gutters if they have them. The main pro of having any of these drains, gutters, or scuppers is that you get water off of your roof. We, it's at some point in time, at the beginning of the podcast, talked about ponding. And to remind you what ponding is it is ultimately the formation of a pond on top of a roof system so water will be sitting on the roof for long amounts of time longer amounts of time than it should and so drains specifically are what helps combat ponding and i believe we talked about drains at that point in time and that they're important um and that is the biggest pro. The biggest pro is that they just help get water off of your roof system. They decrease the possibility of the damage of weathering to your roof system. Like, it's just good to get the water off of a roof. It's not meant to be sitting there. So drains, gutters, and scuppers help with that. However, there are some things to look out for when it comes to drains, gutters, and scuppers. Well, I mean... If, like you just mentioned, uh, if there is ponding on your roof and you have a drain, um, that is one of the things that you you need to come have checked out because that means your drain is not working how it should be. 
And all flat roofs have a drain system. Like that is not an uncommon thing. That is very common. And if your flat roof does not have a drain system, you also need to have that checked out. If we're talking about all three of them and an issue that occurs with all three of them, it is uh, debris getting built up inside of them. That is why I know with residential homes that have gutters, they tell you to clean out your gutters once to twice a year or get some type of... um, gutter guard system to keep the debris out of it. But that happens with uh, gutter scuppers and drains. They can all get clogged with debris. And so making sure that those are cleaned out so that the water can flow correctly is very important. So that is a negative, but also then a positive. Like you got the negative, it gets debris in it, but then you clean it out and everything's dandy. Yes. However, it should be noted that with scuppers and drains it it can get to the point where you are going to have to call a professional to do it gutters um if you are up to the task gutters are diy like you'll be fine we are approving a diy for you so yeah this is like cleaning out your gutters can be a diy as long as you have the right uh, like ladder and everything else but with drains and, and scuppers one of the things that you have to know is that the the pipe in which they're connected to is internal and so it's not as easy to clean out it it reminds me of like you have to bring in a professional chimney cleaner right i mean i'm i'm sure there's some way that you could try and teach yourself how to clean a chimney but it's internal and there are things that you have to think about and so with drains and scuppers you have to get someone professional to come clean those out and unclog them because a clogged uh, drain or scupper is not going to do its job. And you want your roof system to do its job. That is why you have it. Could you imagine not having a roof on your house? Yeah, no, not really. So as you, as you can guess at this point in time, you know, having proper functioning drains, gutters, and scuppers is so important, which is why it is part of the five-point inspection because these are things that can definitely be overlooked, particularly drains and scuppers, I feel, which is the fact that they are internal and they're, I mean, there are a whole bunch of other parts, moving parts with drains specifically that I know. Um, You have to make sure, like there's usually a grate on top of the drain and you have to make sure that everything is bolted down and there's usually a seal so that, you know, leaks aren't caused and, so many moving parts and this is why it is something that gets looked at and should get looked at with your yearly maintenance so shall we get into some of our own definiciones i know that these are three different words but since the episode is done all together let's do one definition for all three of the words And we can define drains, gutters, and scuppers as a water redirection system. I'm here for it. (laughs) I know that's not our normal thing. Like, we usually do a, a definition for each individual word, but they all have the same job. So should we say parts of a roof's water redirection system because I mean other parts of a roof's uh, redirection system would be like if it's sloped that's part of how the water gets redirected and whatever Mm -hmm. and so these are only three um so should we say parts of it yes yeah drains gutters and scuppers noun aspects of a roof's water redirection system perfect thank you for joining us for yet another episode we hope that you learned something today we definitely did and until next time bye that brings us to the end of today's episode if you've been loving what you're hearing make sure to press the subscribe button so you get notified anytime we post a new episode episodes come out on monday and fridays Please feel free to share this podcast with a friend. We'd love everybody to be able to join us and learn more about the roofing industry as we 
go along on this journey. If you don't already, follow us on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, and YouTube. I will put all of our information down in the show notes below. Feel free to contact us with any questions or any any roofing ideas that you would love for us to talk about. I hope you have a great day and we will see you next time.